What's up everybody, Monkey Dude 22 here for another Let's Play. This time we're going to be playing Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. Now this is an original Xbox title that came out in, of course, 2003, as you can see the copyright details below. And I'm going to be playing through this for the first time in a long time. Now at E3 2017, you might remember that Phil Spencer did announce that the original Xbox titles are now coming to Xbox One through backward compatibility. Crimson Skies is one of the games that was on the show floor uh, for folks at FanFest, and they were able to test this one out. I went ahead and hooked up the original Xbox system again, got a uh, cool new component to HDMI converter to try to get some high-quality video, and uh, try to play this game again to just to kind of guys show you guys what the, uh, the game was all about. So uh, let's go ahead and start it up and take a look. And, of course, we're going to do single player. Uh, it's really cool to check out the demos. They actually have a demo for Voodoo Vince, and that actually got remastered recently on the Xbox One. So I uh, might have to do a little side-by-side -side comparison on that one. But here we go. We're going to select a player, new player. And why not? The main character's name was Nathan. Let's just go ahead and roll with that one. Uh, we'll keep the vibration on. Keep it to invert. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn down the music a little bit. Music's pretty good, uh, but I want to make sure that you can actually hear uh, what I'm saying here. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep it on normal there, but they also have a harder difficulty, and once you beat the campaign, there's like an insane difficulty, so that's another option for you as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the game with this, though. And this is going to be episode one in the series for Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. Uh, I'll go ahead and be silent during the cutscene so you guys can enjoy those, and I'll uh, pick it up as soon as we get through the gameplay. Steady, Nate. Steady now. No sudden movement. Steady. Problem with the high stakes table, Nathan. A few bad hands and you can lose everything. Your Zeppelin, your money, your plane. A man should never mix his champagne with poker. Good spirits lead to bad wages. <sighs> oh, pardon the intrusion, Cher, but a shrewd gambler always collects his debts early. So long, Nathan. Well, I trust I was a gentleman last night. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a plane to catch. Nathan, are you going, y'all? This is my plane now. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. I still have your Zeppelin! Betty, you out there? Read you loud and clear. Where the hell you been, Nathan? I had to hit Joe's solo. I'm sorry about that. I got a little hung up. How much did you make off with? A couple grand. I'm afraid we're gonna need more than that. What do you mean? I had a little problem in the high-stakes poker room last night. What kind of problem? Gambling problem. Thibodeau cheated me out of the Pandora. You gambled away our zap? Rendezvous over Calico Bay. I'll fill you in on the details. As soon as I remember them. All right, and now this, uh, this game is actually set in an alternate reality of the 1930s, and of course... Uh, Nathan Zachary is the main protagonist here. Here we go. Look at those amazing graphics for 2003. Now, one of the things I always thought interesting about this game was the fact that they actually had, like, the, uh, the propeller on the back of the plane. It's not something that I usually saw before, so... Yeah, here we go. Here we go, get the weather balloons. Boom! Nice shooting, looks like they're working. Indeed they are, Betty. This game was a, ba a blast to play online back in the day when everybody would fly in formation and go after some of those, uh, bad guys. Secondary is going to be my rockets. Boom. Good job. 
Still got the touch. Still got the touch. It's been a long time since I played this game. I had Doc adjust your brakes. Give him a test. I'm really uh, curious to see what they do whenever they release this for uh, Xbox One through backward compatibility. On Xbox 360, this is what was called an Xbox Originals game. And um, they typically would do, you know, upscaling. So instead of this game, which is actually running at 480p, and that's what I'm capturing it at, I'm actually doing a stretch widescreen. So it's actually not native widescreen. Um, so some of the, uh, the text may be a little bit uh, different there. Let's see here. There we go. Clicking both thumbsticks at the same time to do the... Uh, the inverted roll there. Uh, clicking it. Well done. There we go. Pull a few more maneuvers just to be sure. Yeah, click the right thumbstick while you move both thumbsticks in different directions. So let's try this. Great. Do a barrel roll. When Certainly do that in this game. But even for 2003, this game was uh, amazing graphically. I mean, high-definition TVs wasn't really a thing. I mean, they had them, but it was more like a progressive scan input. It was mainly just to up DVDs to make them look a little bit better. But, uh, you know, gamings didn't really start to do that until, like, the Xbox 360 era is, you know, around 2005, 2006. So, um, you know, for the time, this game was absolutely gorgeous, and it still kind of is. It has its own little charm. No problem. Let's take these guys out quick. Follow my lead. All right, boss. Now you're talking. All right, let's do this. Recover the Pandora. Careful, don't damage the Pandora. Too bad. I wanted to damage it. All right, here we go. Lock on. Ah, oh, such a shame. I didn't really want to slow down. I want to boost. Boom! Can't believe he's still alive. Alright, let's take down those reinforcements. There we go. It's the Y button that does the uh, the boost. Couldn't remember if it was A or B, but uh, we got it now. that plane. So yeah, I mean, like I said, this was one of those games that was like just, you know, a killer app on Xbox and back in the day. Uh, you know, people would just play the deathmatch, they would have like the capture the flag kind of things where you'd have to fly into the base, uh, grab the objective and then fly it back Another and hope that the other guys didn't actually ground. shoot you out of the sky, which was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, this game was really, really popular in its heyday and I'm so happy they're... Uh, making it backwards compatible on Xbox One again. All right, that should do it. But there was also a bunch of other games uh, that were um, uh, Xbox Originals, as they called them, on Xbox uh, 360. And um, this was one of them. You know, Fusion Frenzy was another one. Um, Shenmue 2 was one. That was actually the reason I bought the original Xbox. I actually didn't buy my original Xbox for, uh, for Halo. Um, I bought it for uh, Shenmue 2. All right, here we go. Boom, fly right in. But that's pretty much the training mission right there, so things are going to start to get a little bit more interesting as the game progresses. It just kind of gets you, you know, get your feet wet with the game, learn the mechanics a little bit, and, uh, you know, just kind of go from there. Alright, here we go. The first mission of the game, a ship without a captain. Sea Haven can be a rough place, especially when you have no money, no crew, and a bad hangover. Take odd jobs and earn as much cash as possible in your search for Big John. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at those settings real quick and just make sure that everything is good. Got the vibration on, controls invert, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start this up. So our mission summary is we have to find Big John, earn some money, and explore Sea Haven. So let's go ahead and do it. And, of course, one of the cooler things in uh, Crimson Skies is the uh, ability to have a bunch of different planes. Of course, there's nothing here right now because we're at the start of the game. But uh, you can also upgrade the planes over time. 
and uh, it's also a little cool feature about the game. So let's take a look and see if we can uh, do any kind of upgrades right now. Uh, we have one token. We need 14 to upgrade these. You can upgrade the Devastator. You have more shields, better uh, maneuverability, better firearms, and stuff like that. But we don't have the ability to yet, so let's go ahead and start it up. of his Hollywood militia to include waters off the coast of Mexico. Nathan, watch for out! For too many years, coastal islands along our southern trade routes have provided safe haven for criminals, thugs, and wrongdoers. This cannot... Boss, I thought you said you could fly this thing. I got us here, didn't I? <sighs> we need Big John. You're right. Let's find him. Let's find Big John indeed. So our first objective, search Sea Haven for Big John. So here we go. First mission of the game here. Let's see who's this guy right here? Mason, good to see you. Doc, it's been a while. How you been? I've had better days. That was kind of weird. These guys friends of yours? Doc. No, unfortunately these men are trying to kill me. Get off, Zagre. This ain't your business. I'm making it my business. Yeah. Make it your business. Uh, this guy's on top of me. Nathan, it's me. Uh, well, why has it got the arrow on him? I guess it's trying to make me uh, follow him or escort him. I guess that's what's going on here. What? Alright, so, right, so the red squares is the guys I'm shooting at. Well, I'm sorry. God, Slippy. Oh! All right, here we go. All right, let's get this guy right here. Consider yourself grounded. Oh, right, I gotta follow him to the repair Who's station that? now. They're trying to force me to sell my station so they can control Sea Haven's fuel supply. Sounds like Tivado's type of racket. I'll see what I can do about it. You're a good friend, Nathan. Follow me to my station. I'll repair your plane. My station's just up ahead. This will be it right here. Doc, any idea where I might find Big John? He took a job running cargo for a local arms dealer. Shouldn't be hard to track down. There you go. Plane's good as new. Good luck finding Big John. If you need any repairs, just stop by the station. Nice, Doc. Of course, that was the thing in the uh, um, oh, Xbox Live. Uh, games as well on deathmatch you could actually repair your planes if you went into those repair stations so it's an interesting mechanic um, you know if you were trying to run away from somebody you could actually get into the hangar to uh, heal yourself it was kind of a cool mechanic Yes, ma'am. Ignition. That tank's on empty. There we go. We got some more. Fuel for the fire. Got it. 
And it's not just all fetch quests in the uh, in the mission sets either. I mean, there's a, a couple different ones. I mean, you go on some uh, bigger strikes and uh, a lot of aerial dogfighting and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so far as uh, it's bringing back fond memories. I only wish I could play this game online because I'd be playing that right now because the online was just so fun. Whoa! Go bustify. Bustify. Uh oh, can't go there. Alright, let's get through here. Uh oh. Oh, missed it. Ooh. Got me some wings. Pretty sure that's a, that's a token. I'm pretty sure that's the currency to upgrade your stuff. All the humanity. One more tank and this cookout's complete. Right up there. Aw, oh, missed it. Come on. Alright, soon about face. Boom. Now we're cooking with gas. That's all the tanks. Now let's take care of these Cajuns. Boom. Poor guy. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> what a one-liner, right? You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Boom. Well, watch where I'm shooting. I'm shooting the bad guys because clearly you ain't helping me. All right, let's get this guy right here. Whoa. Get him. And he's gone. Do a barrel roll. Nice work, Nathan. That was easy enough. Guess the Cajuns just ran out of gas. <laughs> he ran out of Nathan, gas. Something's rattling under my hood. Maybe I should swing by the repair shop and. <gasps> yeah, better get that checked out. Good luck finding Big John. All right. Probably want to heal up. And we'll head out on the next mission to try to find Big John. And I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. I'm pretty sure the flags were the uh, story missions. Or not. How much should we wager? Ugh. Yeah, this was another thing you could do, too. There's different races, and you have to, like, fly through the different stuff, and... I don't really... Not, not too keen on doing that one right now. Although I might have to do that before... Actually, no, I think I can go to the giant blimp over here and start the story mission. Alright, let's go ahead and fly home. And we'll go ahead and get started with that next mission. Alright. See if we can fly around. Yeah, let's check these other ones real quick. There's a way to earn money. Nathan, I could use your help. Big John, been looking all over for you. The Hollywood militia are gonna confiscate our latest arms shipment. Land and man the AA gun. Uh oh. You are in possession of illegally acquired armaments. We are authorized to seize your 
property under the David Dunbar Anti-Piracy Act. Nathan, protect the crates. Without this shipment, Sea Haven is defending. Boom. You're fighting a losing battle. It's just a matter of time before the nation of Hollywood roots out every one of these flea-ridden pirate men. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, heard it before. Check this guy off me. You're usually pretty good at uh, using the AA cannons. I guess I'm doing. Halfway decent right now. Uh oh. This man is on me. Need support over. Bandits on you. You need support. Well, that. Okay. Thank you for telling me you needed support and basically getting me killed. Thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and try this again. I was doing good. I was doing good. Basically, it was a trap. Nathan, I can use your right. help. Big John, been looking all over for you. The Hollywood militia are going to confiscate our latest arm. Attention, you are in possession of illegally acquired armaments. We are authorized to see property under the David Dunbar Anti-Piracy Act. Nathan, protect the crates! Without this shipment, Sea Haven is defenseless! I could use a little breathing room. Could you now? Could you? Maybe if you shot the guys. You're fighting a losing battle. It's just a matter of time before the nation of Hollywood roots out every one of these flea-ridden pirate nests. Yeah, yeah, heard it before. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Beat it, chump. You're not fit to fly. I'm taking fire. Of course you are. I am too. Wing commander taking fire. Close in. Over. Ah, come on. Alright, maybe I can get out and get in the plane. Yeah, let's do that. I'm taking fire. Where'd you go? There you are. Get over here, you little bugger. Boom. Feel the effects of gravity. I don't know if you heard, but we got the Pandora back. And she's in need of a pilot. I'm the man for the job. Let me finish up here. I'll meet you at the Pandora. Good to have you back, Big John. Oh, good. So I guess that means I'm supposed to go to the Pandora now. It's been so long since I played this, I just don't remember the, uh, the story progression at all. So that's why I really wanted to do this again, just because it's like... It's almost like a fresh playthrough for me. It's been so long. I still kind of hope that they uh, either they remaster this game and uh, re-release it for Xbox One with online multiplayer, or they just bring back the online servers for the original Xbox. But who knows? Who knows what they're planning to do with that? I know System Link will be available. They did say that in the press conferences that you'll be able to System Link. Uh, the games, but they didn't say anything about the uh, the online support. All right, mission review, ship without a captain, got that one there, and let's see what we got now. All right, so now we are uh, looking to meet up with Big John here. Hey, Big John, what's the story? We got Gonna uh, escort the Pandora. Lead the way. Let's do it. Whoa. Hollywood Militia, 12 o'clock. Attention, this is the Hollywood Militia. Surrender your cargo. These guys never learn. <laughs> the Hollywood Militia. What a name. Take the pen 
Well, I'm kind of in the middle of protecting you right now. Back this guy off me. I'm getting far away from it though. Ooh, get back. You fly like an ostrich. You fly like an ostrich. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Boom. Here's the drop point. Cover the Pandora while we unload. Heads up. Militia gunboats below. Approaching through the street. Nathan, use the other side cannon. All right. See, is there an underside? Yep, there it is. There you go. So am I. So am I. We got a militia set closing in. Alright. Go ahead and get in that plane again. Kind of need to heal pretty bad. Go ahead and stay in here for right now. Good. Bye. Nice work. We're clear. Nathan, it's Betty. Tebow stole my plane out of the repair shop. You what? That swamp rat. Let's Probably see. looking to sell it for a little quick cash. We gotta find him, boss. Nathan, there's a boat captain, Eddie Darling. He'd know where to find Thibodeau. Try his dock inside the main harbor. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Good. Send someone to pick up Betty. I'm gonna see if uh, I can get this guy down. I want that. Hurry, I want the token. There we go. Explosions over there. Hey Zachary, welcome to the Bandit Rush Challenge. Think you could top my time? Maybe. How much should we wager? All right, we'll do the minimum. Let's do this You're race. On, Do, 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 
It's like busting womp rats in my T16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Alright, let's do this, do this, do it, do it. Go, 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 go. I had a feeling there was going to be something in there. Go, go, go. Lucky run, Zachary. Lucky run, nothing. I destroyed him. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for the uh, first episode in the series of Crimson Skies High Road Revenge on uh, Throwback Thursdays. Uh, if you'd like to see the continuation of this series, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll be notified as soon as I release the next episode. And uh, with that said, I'm MonkeyDo22. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, guys.